It is said that time heals all wounds. Then why does my sorrow only deepen? It was a beautiful evening at the Moulin Rouge, the place where my joy took flight. But then, a tragedy stabbed my heart. It was a true mystery, draped in suspense and intrigue. Sophie, the shining star of the Moulin Rouge, my dearest friend and muse, fell into the eternal night. And through her death... Madam? Madam, are you alright? A dark secret came to light. Look at what we have here, that's right, Moulin Rouge. That's right, we're playing, this is the second game in the Dance Macabre uh, series. Now, actually, if you go ahead and look at more games, it uh, should be here somewhere. Of course, this is another Epix masterpiece. I have played a lot of these games. I would say a vast majority of these games. Uh, where is it? I can't remember the name. Oh, there it is, right there. So that's actually the first one in the series, and we're of course going to be playing the second one. This is the collector's edition, so there's going to be a whole lot of extras. I'll just show you that quickly. I'm not going to go into the each of them, but just look at this. <laughs> 40 billion collectibles all ready for us to unlock. There you go. Uh, excellent. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and enjoy this Epix masterpiece. We have uh, some difficulty options here. Look at all these choices for custom. Absolutely fantastic that we have all that ability to customize. And we're just going to go ahead and do casual because that's the way I like to roll. Looks like we have a visitor. Oh, this is cool. So this is, I'm noticing more and more developers putting in this option here of a full tutorial or a only a special one. That is fantastic for those of us that are, I don't want to say experts, but seasoned veterans uh, is probably the best way to put it. Now I do think that this is a collectible. Yes, yes, yes. So we have to collect these windmills. Yeah, and that'll show us when we've collected it, which is again a nice feature that Epix puts into their games. They have this uh, visual indicator to let us know that we have actually got the collectibles. There'll be morphing objects in the hidden object scenes as well, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. And of course, there's so many different uh, extras to unlock, so we'll have to keep all of the windmills and morphing objects in mind when we're going through the game. Alright, what are we doing here? My forensic kit is inside, but the lock broke off a few days ago. The replacement should have arrived. Okay, so that's not clearly what I'm looking for. I know there's a dude hammering on the door there. we are put on the uh, kettle here, so we got ourselves some hot water. <laughs> Alright, maybe I gotta make a cup of tea for this dude here. I'm sure that goes here. Hi there. Madarouche! Have you heard? It's horrid. Despicable. Sophie, the star of the Moulin Rouge. She was murdered. You must... <laughs> I must what? Pardon. I, uh... Must catch my breath. 
May I have a, a cup of tea? My throat, I, uh, I ran too fast. All right, so there you go, folks. We are going to make a cup of tea. I was already way ahead of you, buddy, because I wanted to have my own. Oh, look, Henri. Okay. From what I understand, like, he is... Is he somebody from history? I'm not exactly sure who this guy is. Merci, madame. You see, I desperately need your help. The police won't let anyone inside the Moulin Rouge. And what's worse, they do not believe she was murdered. Okay. You bring her killer to justice. Uh, please, you can even name your price. I've even hired the carriage for you. Use it as often as you want. Oh, and there is this as well. This was all I could take before those brutes so unceremoniously threw me out. I pray it helps you. Yeah, this guy here, Henri de Toulouse. Well, I missed his name there, but anyways, apparently he's some. Sophie's figure. death occupies my every thought. I'll be at the Moulin Rouge. I'll see you there, Madame. All right, I will, good sir. We have a plus item. Let's go ahead and open that up. What do we have here? We have uh, added information to my journal. Dear Sophie. It's been a while since you last wrote to us. Your father is worried. I hope you are doing well. Although you seem sad in your last letter. How is life in the City of Lights? Certainly more lively than here, I'd imagine. Write to us when you have the chance. Don't make your father worry. Okay. I regret visiting here under such grim circumstances. It always breaks my heart to see young people with such promise pass away. Let's have a look at our board here. What's going on here? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, this is neat. Okay. Sophie Dubois, professional dancer, 25, victim. So he's an artist, victim's friend. Hmm, interesting. Neat. I like it. Got some more people to find. Achievements, guide, yeah, of course, because it's a collector's edition, we're going to have a strategy guide. I do like the minimalistic uh, user interface here. Doesn't this look nice? Look at all that. It's just a blank space over here and blank space over there. Really cool. Of course, uh, this is being played on widescreen, so... Uh, I'll, I'll take that. Jeez, look at that giant arrow. Well, it's more of a triangle. Uh, let's see. Lock piece. Oh, I need two of them. Okay, let's go to the street. Summer is one of my favorite seasons in Paris. Uh, Alright. I need my forensic kit, do I? No! Why would you do that game? I can't get in there. I'm gonna have to go back inside. Oh! It's sparkle time! Alright, let's do this. This is an interactive hidden object puzzle. Find the object shown as silhouettes below. Sure. Okay. So, how does this work? Is there an actual morphing object on this screen? Ooh, I need a code. Oh, puppy, enjoy. <laughs> Dig it up. Covered in thorns, we'll use my gloves. Got myself a lunch bag or something. Matches now. I have to light the cannon, I'm thinking. Now I've got myself a scroll with a bunch of symbols on it. Uh, 
Hibachi? I think so. But we're gonna be left with three symbols! Yeah! There's our code! Okay, get out of there. Achievement. Oh, I gotta go back this way then. Uh, it actually moves pretty quickly between these items here. It's kind of neat. No lag at all. Look how fast I can move. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, that was neat. To a box. Slash. Everything box. It's got all this stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Building a knife? We sure are. I hope that knife will help us with this. Ooh, found a package. Candies? Oh, it's just a lock piece. Let's go there and put that in here. What? Cool. To go ahead and do this. Uh, oh wow! Okay, so what does this do? What? This is cool. That should help us out. Maybe. Maybe that will take me here. Oh. Which one? This one? No, this is not working. There, oh, there we go. That is very secure. <laughs> Out of my way, stuff. Now I can examine the body with my forensic kit. Whoa, the animation was super neat. Neato. Let's go, march. Uh, oh, there we go. I need to give the address? Moulin Rouge. Okay. Let's go to the Moulin Rouge entrance. I didn't do anything! Let me go! I was just trying to help! Oh no! There you are! I'm going to wait here. They will have to let me in sooner or later. I must know what they found. Please, can you examine Sophie's body? Then let me know what you find. It Alright, we will do that. We will uncover the truth. We have Detective LeBlanc. Can you... Can let me speak to the suspect. This is Odette, famous Moulin Rouge dancer. What's going on here? It must be a way to open this gate. Neato. Now they're hitting that windmill. There's a nice big giant windmill there too. I want to go watch the French can-can. Oh. I can't spread the glue with my fingers? Sure I can. It just won't be very effective. Okay, let's go inside. Ah, Madame Roche. I was wondering when you would show, but you're too late. I've already got the chief suspect in custody. It was Janitor, naturally. Okay. Can you believe he was actually trying to run from us? But please, do tell me who invited you here, as if I didn't know. 
It was Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, yes? He may be a decent painter, but I caught him tampering with the crime scene. So he's a painter, okay. You're welcome to investigate, madame, but this time it shall be my picture on the headlines. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Ah, the body just lay in there. That's crazy. Uh, interesting. Now, what else do we have here? I suspect there may be some clues in Sophia's locker. So we have our forensic kit. Alright, now to business. Let's have a look. Uh, important clues are invisible to the eye. What? This is so neat. that. Oh, right there. No suspicious marks. Let's have... Oh, let's see the other cheek. Something's going on. Her nose there. I figure out what that is. She's holding a rose upon closer examination. It has powder as well. Uh, let's grab that out of her hand. Could be hazardous, so I gotta protect myself. Sure, sure. You found a wrapped rose. It's got. So Why she went to go smell say? it. Well, it's not as if that green pigment is illegal. Well, I mean, if it poisons people, wouldn't that make it by definition illegal? After all, it's manufactured in many products. Besides, it's the dosage that makes it poison, yes? Well, she had it all over her nose, like... At any rate, I have no more need for this rose, so you may examine it to your heart's content. I'm telling you, though, we practically caught the janitor red-handed. He's inside the patrol wagon if you'd like to question him. Oh, and I suppose you'll want to see this as well. It was found on the victim. Perhaps you can make sense of it? It's all gibberish to me. It's a code. Ah, oh, Sophie Dubois. Wait. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Now I'm starting to think that this detective is like the worst detective ever. Going with the obvious suspect. Okay, so we still need one more piece before we can get in there. Grab that, and that. A door knocker plate. Where's the dude? Madam, please. You must believe me. I, I was just trying to help her. I'm not a killer. I'm just a janitor. Harris Green? Oh, sure. We use it in our stage paints. I think I saw Ivan. He's a stagehand. He was carrying a bag of it a few days back. Okay. And then there's this. It was in her hand when I found her. The police wouldn't listen. LeBlanc is sure I did it. He claims he's innocent. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, Yvonne never was a reliable stagehand. 
I hope that Baron feels ashamed for landing him a job here. I certainly would. All right, we need to speak with Ivan. We need to get into the locker. We've got a lot of needs, but we're out of time, so I'll be back for more Moulin Rouge action very soon. I'm your Gibbs. Would always love to hear your thoughts of the game so far down in the comments below. I'll see you next time.